Hello, in this video we're going to talk about inserting an image in a Google Form. This is now possible and I just wanted to thank um, James Eckmiller for sharing the script um, that is helping us make this possible in a really easy way. So you'll see these directions, I have them for you as well as I'll share them electronically. First thing is I'm going to go to basically a web browser. So I already have Google Chrome open up. And once you're logged into Google Drive, I'm going to go to the left and click on Create Folder. And I'm going to create a folder, and I'm going to title this folder GFWI. Click Create. And now I'm going to make this folder public. So I'm going to click on the checkbox, and then I'm going to go to the top to the little plus symbol with that little guy. I click share and I'm going to change this privacy just by clicking on the change and saying public and then scroll to the bottom and click save. So now this folder is a shared folder for anyone to public and I'm going to click on the folder itself there's nothing inside it so I'm going to go to the top and now you can have folders within folders so I'm going to click on the folder and I'll click on IMG G. Okay, and that's where we're going to be putting our images. Then the next piece, I've created some images and I've used one, um, this editor, which is really kind of neat. Um, it's an equation editor in Chrome, and I can show you that another day. And what's really neat about it is then once you create your equations, it's very simple to use you can go to the right right here and click save as image and that's what I have on my desktop so let me minimize those items and you'll notice here I actually have two items Q1 and Q2 okay and if you double click on it you can see the image There it is. So let me close that. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take those images and I'm going to add them to this image folder. Okay? So I can go right here to the upload files. I'm browsing to my desktop and I'm clicking on Q1 open. and something happened and let me upload this file Q2 upload now there's something that is happened and I want to point this out to you because you may screen capture an image and you may notice that I have this .jpg basically you don't want anything um, anything with the dot behind it. So what I'm going to do is rename this image if I can. Click rename. I'm going to get rid of that information. Click OK. Because I just want it to reference Q1, Q2. If not, basically the script won't work. Okay. So now those items are in my image. So now the next piece is going to go to that Word doc and I'm going to scroll down right here and I'm going to grab the spreadsheet and make the copy. This spreadsheet contains the script so all you have to do is actually copy this address right here and paste this in Chrome and you'll see the following it'll say do you want to make a copy and you'll click on this hyperlink and say yes. Once you do that second there it is okay and now you have a copy then from here I'm gonna to go to the top 
I click on form and edit form. So this is the form itself and basically I can edit the question and then right here between these double brackets is where you need to put basically the title of that text so this mine was Q1 remember and it's done and then the next one same thing and then take the title of the next image And then once you, I can also, if I choose to, make this multiple choice question, text, or paragraph. I'm going to keep it at text. Click done. And click save. Okay. So once I'm done with this, close it out. Now to view it, I'm going to go right here. To see there where it says GFWI? I'm going to click on create form with image. I'm going to click OK. Click Close. And if I go to the form, there it is. I'm going to click on here. See this form? Click here to view this form. When I click on this form, there is my problems with those images there and individuals can then write the answers I believe this one is if I'm correct I'm just doing this from the top of my head I believe um, 7 will be the answer solving for X and this one would be 3 click submit and if you look and my spreadsheet, those items have been entered. So this is a quick and easy way to insert images within a form and then gather that data. This concludes this quick video.